Hello, my name is Peter Bider from Marship. I'm here to talk about the diesel dipper. What is it? Why have it? And how does it work? What is it? It's a self-contained bypass separator. Its sole purpose is to remove water from your fuel tank. It was invented by me, I'm a marine engineer, and it's made here in Gloucestershire. Why have it? Water is a serious problem in modern diesel, gas oil, A2 red diesel, whatever you call it, water collects at the bottom of the fuel tank. What happens then is it sits and forms a mildly acidic layer between the fuel above and the water below, so it sits there. That mildly acidic layer causes rapid degradation or accelerated degradation in the fuel above. It will reduce the lubricity of the fuel, Modern day diesel already has reduced lubricity because of the removing the sulfur. So it's gonna make that worse. It rusts the fuel systems and it will rust the steel tank. And above all, it will harbor diesel bug and that will definitely stop your engine. The dipper is designed to suck from the very bottom, very bottom of your fuel tank, below the fuel suction. You can imagine when you're at sea and your engine is running, and the vessel is pitching and it's rolling. Everything off the bottom of that tank is all sloshing about. Any water, any sludge is going to be picked up from the bottom and deposited in the dipper where you can easily drain off the water. Let me show you how it works. This is the dipper. It's a very simple piece of kit, which is important. Simple is best. This here is the separator. Inside here, are baffles and swirl chambers. The fuel enters through the top, this port here, goes into the separator, the water eventually collects at the bottom and the diesel comes up through this pipe down here into this filter. This filter is only to protect the pump. It's stainless steel, it's washable. We can supply you with a 40 micron if you want, which helps to give a little bit extra polishing if you like, but then it goes through the pump and then back to the, fuel, the top of the fuel tank. Then on a daily basis, we would recommend then just open this valve and that will drain off any water from the bottom. As I say, simple is best. You may have a separator on your engine already that will be sitting between the fuel tank and your engine. Very, very good, very good to have and don't get rid of that filter. But we, we see those now as more of a indicator. If you're having water, in your separator bowl, you've got a much more serious problem below the fuel suction. Anyway, have a look at the videos and there's animation on our, on our Marship website. It's available from us at Marship, on eBay, or our sister company, marine16.co.uk. Thanks for watching and look out for the next video. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.